We were expecting a Tiger Boss new double check greasy burrito review slash spicy burrito by Timmy's uh, Tech Guys. Like, the, le the link to the video will be in the description below. Go and check once. And I don't like Legend Spicy, so drop a like if you want me to try the. the the new double sec greases but we don't go a lot go a lot so let's introduce vaccine in 3, 2, 1 As you guys know, those angelic vocals can only mean one thing. Taco Bell has a brand new item. The Double Steak Grilled Cheese Burrito. There's the original version and the spicy version. I love spicy everything, so I am all for like fast food places making spicy versions of like all their new items. It's iconic. So the description of the like original burrito says, double the steak, nacho cheese sauce, seasoned rice, red strips, creamy chipotle sauce, reduced fat sour cream, and three cheese blend wrapped inside a warm flour tortilla with even more three cheese blend grilled on top. So there is a lot going on, a lot of sauces, a lot of flavors. It sounds amazing, honestly. Um, I did have their other grilled cheese burrito. I think it was just with like beef maybe. And I think I loved it. It was a long time ago though, so it has, it has been a while. Not totally sure. Now the spicy version says double the steak, nacho cheese sauce, seasoned rice, blah, 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 same things, with even more three cheese blend blend and jalapenos grilled on the top. So, so the only thing that makes it spicy are the jalapenos on the outside. That's kind of disappointing because I feel like it should have some sort of a spicier sauce or something to make it taste different compared to the um, original. It just sounds way too similar, but I love jalapeno, so I'm here for that. A lot of you know I'm not a big fan of Taco Bell steak. It is my least favorite meat there. To me, yeah. it tastes processed, but in a bad way. Like, their beef tastes processed in a good way. It's very flavorful. It's truly delicious, even though it's processed. Their steak, on the other hand, has absolutely no flavor. Um, their chicken has the same issue. Their shredded chicken that they got rid of was incredible. Now they're just like, chicken strips are just honestly trash. So, and I'm a Taco Bell stand, so I can say that. So yeah, I'm gonna try to keep an open mind. Mind. I just hope that the steak, you know, kind of isn't that noticeable. <laughs> it is double steak though. <laughs> so it's like, notice me. So these don't feel that heavy. I would say they're the typical Taco Bell burrito size, not like an XXL one, which I love. They're just normal. I'm gonna rate these from one to 10, give you my honest opinion. By the way, subscribe for more taste tests. I try all the new fast food items and I do full menu taste tests as well. Subscribe. So this is the spicy one. It says it here. It says, B. No, it says spy. It says S P Y. You know, Sherlock. Are you in there? You're a spy. Sherlock's not a spy. He's a detective. What's the difference? I don't know. Lara Croft. Is that you? Is she a spy? I don't know. Love her though. What a queen. So this is the original. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my god. Oh, the bottom of it does not have any melted cheese. Let's check out the top. Oh. Ooh, that is quite the grease ball. It looks pretty good, very shiny. Honestly, this could yeah. be used as a slip and slide if it was just a little bit bigger because mm -hmm. it's so oily. It smells so good, like just cooked cheese. Now let's see the spicy one. This one does have the jalapeno, so it looks a bit fancier, a bit different. Okay, okay there's the bottom of it. Let's turn it over. Yeah. Look at these jalapenos, y'all. No, I'm half Cuban, I say jalapeno. This looks glorious. It smells like nachos, because of the jalapenos. Mmm, like a movie theater nachos, I love that. Really? Uh. Let's first try the original. I am gonna slice it in half so that we can see the insides. Let's get a bit closer here, okay. Ooh, that's a thick layer of cheese. And these knives are not sharp <laughs> whatsoever. I think they're Target, I'm not sure. Or Amazon maybe, okay. Gosh, this is quite tough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so this is what the inside looks like. It smells, to be honest, 
canned. It smells like canned beef, which is not a compliment. Once again, I am a Taco Bell stan, so please don't take that to heart, but it does not smell good. See, this is like one of those horrible people that looks amazing on the outside, but on the inside, they're canned. Let's dig in shall we i'm scared now that smell is not good mm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. 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 honest today I can't really taste the um, grilled cheese tortilla let me see by itself okay I can taste it by itself so there's a lot of steak and the steak is the least good part of this burrito um I really love the other fillings the rice the chipotle sauce the sour cream everything is very saucy very moist so we love to eat that but the steak does come through. It just tastes so fake. And you know what it tastes like? You know what it tastes like. It tastes like flavorless, hydrated beef jerky. It's kind of mushy. If this burrito had Taco Bell's old shredded chicken, it would be so good. But the steak really brings it down. I know the whole draw is double the steak, but we don't want it. We want beef or the old shredded chicken or even potatoes, something else. Love the tortilla though, but you just can't really taste that when you're just biting into the burrito. The rice tastes amazing today, honestly. So I love the other fillings, but overall, I'm gonna have to give this burrito a 5.5 .5 out of 10. And guys, for Taco Bell, that's a very low, like for me. Most items there are a 10 out of 10 in my eyes. <laughs> Let's mm -hmm. open up. The spicy version, aka just with jalapenos. It looks like it has a bit less steak than the first one. Yeah. But the jalapenos really do add like a nice visual look. It just looks more different. I love that. So let's try the spicy version. Mmm, no jalapenos. Mmm. <laughs> that sounded weird. I love jalapenos. Mmm. This half too, it has a lot here. <gasps> Love the jalapenos. So, ooh, a little spicy. The jalapenos add so much flavor. I honestly thought it's just jalapenos, like that's the spicy version. It works. Yeah. A lot better than the other version. They are actually spicy. Like, they're not the tame kind of pickled jalapenos. They have a good kick, which is great. And they're a nice, tangy, strong, pickled, spicy flavor. Really helps drown out the steak, <laughs> which is what we need. It also makes it taste a bit more unique. Mmm. It's definitely a much needed upgrade. So, you know what? I'm gonna give this spicy version of the double steak burrito a 6.5. A huge step up, but it still could be so much better. So overall, I'm not that impressed with Taco Bell's new. And for the 10th time, I'm gonna say it again, Taco Bell is probably my favorite fast food restaurant ever. Yeah. So if I can get there underwhelming, that's not a good sign. Oh, I forgot to mention, this burrito is available right now on the um, rewards app. Excuse me. And um, it should be um, available on the nationwide menu, I think, I think, in a couple days. So if you wanna check it out, check it out. I won't be eating it again, but nah, it's, it's whatever. Let me know in the comments below if you guys end up trying these and let me know your thoughts. Um, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm. It was...
think about new double set greasy burrito reboot plus spicy burrito by Timmy Tegas. The link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out. And drop a like if you like. And drop a like if you want more reaction like this. And subscribe if you're new. It's clickable so be known if I'm in the blog. In the world. Bye.